हेलो 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 अस्सलाम वालेकुम जी आया नूम पखेर आगले नी हाउ चुनेशुम में वशमल है ओ हाय गंजाइमिस गुटन मॉर्गन ओला बोजोर प्रीवियस कैफा हाल हाल शुमा चतोरे आलन वसारन मरहबा बूना बूचो ग्रासियास एंड अ वेरी अमेजिंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबॉडी हुस ट्यून इनटू पीटीवी वर्ल्ड एंड वाचिंग वर्ल्ड दिस मॉर्निंग अलोंग साइड शहजाद खान uh ladies and gentlemen uh, the day is monday and i think that it was very difficult for me to get back into my routine as well because he just uh passed by and then everybody was on uh, leave or vacations and then at the same time you know you were so busy with your family catching up with your sleep that you know it was a little hard for me uh, to get back up early in the morning and come back to the studios but then at the same time when we have a lot of people looking forward to the show it is always lovely to to wake up and to feel that you know today this is what i'm going to talk about or probably this is what what i'm reaching out for but then at the same time ladies and gentlemen it's time to rise and shine wake and bake get up and be more focused about what you want to do in life and other than that today it's going to be a very special episode and it's going to it's because of the fact that first thing first obviously you know ladies and gentlemen world cup is underway too as well we cannot actually be uh taken away by the fact that it was eid because it was world cup too as well so you know the matches are going on today i think it's going to be west indies versus south africa and it's going to be i don't know i think it's going to be uh, a balanced match because of the fact that south africa obviously needs uh, needs to win because south africa has lost three matches so far as well but west indies i think can actually take benefit from this match but other than that why am i even talking about this so there's a group of people uh, a few of them actually hail from lahore and then there's this one lady who's from islamabad as well they got together and they decided to make a song for the world cup and what is it about this is something which we'll definitely get to talk about as well but then at the same time i think that all of these songs get you going you know you know you have that motivation you have that uh, feeling of supporting your team and what not and you know i can see a lot of statuses these days as well Pakistan so far uh, you know i i think that we are in a very dicey condition because we have scored uh, i think 3 points so far where one of the matches uh, uh, due to rain you know so we had to get against sri lanka so one point each but other than that you know so i think uh, our victory against england uh, was very well deserved as well i think pakistan did a great job everybody over here is definitely supporting but then at the same time you know we want to share what these guys have done i just have to check whether the video is ready is the video ready all right so ladies and gentlemen i think it's about time that we move out we listen to that song and when you guys will come back that's the time when i'm going to introduce you these amazing gentlemen who are actually in and behind this work let's go and take a look good morning. धनादन दे धनादन कब को हम उठाएंगे इन शाहिंग in between you and them as well on my right hand side ladies and gentlemen we have been joined by mr daniel khurshid hello daniel assalam alaikum how are you uh, wa alaikum assalam i'm fine thank you thank you very much for joining us it's wonderful to have you alongside daniel ladies and gentlemen we have been joined by ali abdullah hello ali assalam alaikum how are you 
Waalaikum assalam sir I'm fine Thank you very much for joining us what, what, what happened why are you so serious early in the morning <laughs> Nothing special sir I'm Nothing special excited. everything fine uh, Excited uh, shaky morning Oh well that's yeah. great uh, All right alongside Ali ladies and gentlemen we have been joined by Hamza Munir Hello Hamza assalam alaikum how are you Waalaikum assalam sir I'm fine Thank you very much for joining us and last but not the least ladies and gentlemen the only lady over here in the studio is today Ms Shabna Munir Hello assalam alaikum Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank, thank you very much for joining us, guys. It's wonderful to have you. Day the night and cup, we will take. What a wonderful line! Who thought about it that you know that we need to do a song about the World Cup? Uh, well, actually, uh, this song was recorded about uh, two years back. Okay. And uh, that song was about uh, the Independence Day. Yeah. And uh, then, uh, due to some uh, misfortunate reasons, yeah. our band got split. Okay. And uh, like the usual scenario yeah. in Pakistan, so it happens. It happens. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. So uh, the song was vanished, and then uh, Shabnam she reminded me of the song, and yeah. uh, she said that you should record it for the World Cup. And I discussed it with my producer, Mr. Fakhar Bas. Yeah. Uh, he's working with the label as well. Okay. Fankar uh, Records. Okay. So he said that uh, it's now it's the time you should uh, bring that song out and. Uh, Then I changed the lyrics according to the World Cup, yeah. and it's out. Huh? And, and it's out, and it's great. They the na then kaf ham uthayenge. But do you really think that Pakistan is going to win the World Cup? I think this is one question which is very important, which needs to be asked as well. I'm going to ask this question from Ali. Ali, लगता है कि हम World Cup जीत जाएंगे? Yes, sir. I think uh, we have. We will, inshallah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Pakistan की टीम में कौन से खिलाड़ियों के ऊपर आपको सबसे ज़्यादा एतबार और भरोसा है? सर फखर जमान इज आई थिंक सबसे बेस्ट बाबर आजम भी अच्छे हैं बट फखर जमान इज अ वेरी टैलेंटेड एंड वेरी एग्जैक्टली बहुत यू नो यू यू राइट विद दैट एज वेल दैट फखर इज डूइंग अ ग्रेट जॉब एज वेल बट अदर देन दैट ओके सो यू नो शबनम रिमाइंडेड यू एंड देन हाउ डिड अली एंड हमजा केम ऑन बोर्ड फॉर द सॉन्ग एज वेल एक्चुअली अली वाज माय फ्रेंड ऑन फेसबुक ओके एंड I have a sort of uh, group on Facebook uh, with the name of Rock Zone. Okay. And it's like a group for promoting hidden talent, hidden right. singers okay. who don't get the platform. So through that group I met Ali and uh, then Hamza was a friend of Ali. All right. And uh, so everybody wanted to be in the in song in. as well. Yes. So all of you guys yeah. sing. Yeah. You know uh, as solo artists ladies and gentlemen because they came together for this particular song. which they sang for the world cup which we shared glimpses of as well on your television screens as well but i want to know individually what do you guys do so shabnam you know you you're a singer anyways other than this as well or you know this is what just one time thing no i'm not basically a singer okay but but um, i i i love to sing and uh, i want to sing i just try to uh, get uh, with other singers yeah. and do as well but my by my own profession i am basically i'm working in a daily uh, fitness day okay yeah i basically i'm basically manager fitness manager wow. and trainer well wow, i i think that's great you know these days a lot of people are trainers and fitness trainers you know i think that they're doing a great job as well and since everybody has got the exposure to stay fit i mean look at me man come on yeah. <laughs> but i think everybody needs to stay fit look after yourselves as well and then You know, okay. So I have a confession to make. So whenever I go to the gym, you know, since you you guys are musicians yourself, you guys sing too as well. I have this thing for Punjabi music. So as long as I'm listening to Punjabi music, I think I can work out very well as well. How is it for you guys? Do you guys listen to your own music? I, the music you guys have produced. Do you do that? Well, uh, in the gym, I listen to uh, rock music or metal. Okay. Kind of music. Well, that's that, great. That motivates me a lot. Yeah. What about you? um listen rock music I rock think. music which 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 band do you guys listen to uh i like khamaj also because of uh, classical and rock yeah. uh, he done wow that's great so hamza what about you how did you become a part so you know you were whose friend on facebook uh he was ali's friend so ali's friend so how, how, when did ali contacted you and said that you know okay we need to do a song together uh, one day before One day before, yes, and then you were like, "Okay, I'm fine. Yes, I, I, okay, I'm ready I'm to do it." Okay, that's good. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put you guys to test. Okay, so all four of you have to sing us a song, and you have to sing a song for our viewers out there as well. Sure, okay, sure. so ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, you know, keep this in your head that all of these people they perform as solo artists, but for this World Cup song, they had to come together. But today, what we have done is that we have put them under the spot, and we want them to sing. 
for all of us and they're going to do it all together. So are we ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Ready. Yes. Okay, let's do it. So it's without a jam session, so let's see who's going to do it. Who's going to play the guitar? Uh, yes, Ali. Okay, okay. Ali's going to play the guitar and which song are you guys uh, going to sing? We're going to sing uh, uh, Sofiana Kalam, kind okay. of a mashup. Okay, kind of a mashup yeah. of a Sofiana Kalam. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mashups are trending these days. Yeah. Yes, sir.
डरना क्या जिसको दरिया का पानी जीवन दे उसे दुनिया की लहरों से डरना क्या Wonderful, and ladies and gentlemen. If I'm not right, think that originally this song is being sung by Nuri. I think that's that's who um, he is, Abdullah, right? Abdullah Qureshi. Abdullah Qureshi, you're right. Abdullah Qureshi yeah. is actually sung this song originally, but I don't know why I felt that. I I, I think I have heard <laughs> Nuri sing this song. Probably that might be the cause as well. Yes, yeah, maybe yeah. because they're also singing many exactly. Super songs but well. Abdullah Qureshi, I think, is one of those singers as well, which uh, Islamabad is very proud of. I think the entire Pakistan is proud of. What a great guy with great vocals as well. But I want to move on to Shabnam over here. So Shabnam, for somebody who who is a fitness trainer, for somebody who goes to the gym and does all of those workouts and whatnot, how do you think, you know, how was this conversion for you from fitness trainer to being a singer? Did you always, you always wanted to sing or it was like a one-time thing in life and you're never going to do it again? No, it's just a one-time one part. Why, why? I mean, if you can sing, so why not? I mean, why not make it a profession? Um... Well, I will just think over it and let me see what can I do further. I, I, I don't think so. I can, uh, I can sing very well. Well, uh, actually, uh, she is right now. She's uh, helping us promote this song, wow. and she's like a manager to us. Amazing. But and I, but I even saw her in no, the no, video. No, that, no, that was uh, another. Uh, All right. So she, she's somebody else. So she's yeah, not she's even sung the song. No, right. I thought that it was song. her in the video. Actually, she was uh, busy with her. Uh, she's a model okay. in Islamabad, and she yeah. was busy with her shoot and uh, also. We have another singer, Abid, Abid Ali, yeah, and Sumaya. Exactly, Sumaya I saw that. Okay, so that was so Sumaya. both of them were busy with their schedules, so they couldn't, they couldn't make it here. And uh, yeah, but it took me with a surprise <laughs> as well because when I was uh, looking at the video, I thought that it was her. So, uh, but uh, I think makeup can do wonders too as well. So you know, <laughs> it looked different, but it's great. But let me move yeah. move to Hamza now. So Hamza. You know, you didn't even put in your part. You know, I wanted you to sing too as well. What you don't sing as well? You sing, right? Yes. So, so do you want to share something with us too as well? Are you going to sing us a song? Yes, sir. I, sir, I, wa I want to sing. Uh, basically, uh, I sing my two songs. Okay. So you want to sing your song? Yes. Okay. Do you know how to play the guitar, or is somebody else going to do that for you? Sir, without uh, guitar. Who's going to Who's going to do that? Can you play the guitar for him? Actually, he did do his songs uh, without guitar. Okay, so she want to sing without guitar? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Let's see what Hamza's got for us. <coughs> करे दिल तुझसे इल्तिजा रहूँगा मैं रहूँगा बस तेरा तू सुन ले दिल की ये सदा मेहरमाओ ओ ओ सजा महरमा 
करे दिल तुझ से इल्तिजा रहूंगा मैं रहूंगा बस तेरा तू सुन ले दिल की ये सदा मेहर That was that was beautiful, yeah. That was beautiful. Have you written the lyrics yourself as well? No, sir. ये गाना लिखा भी आपने खुद है? नहीं. ये किसने लिखा है? साजिद अली. साजिद अली लिखा है और आपने गाया है? Yes, sir. It's a beautiful song, and I think that you know what you need to do with this song is, you need to pitch it to a film producer probably, because I think that such type yeah. of songs are very well suited with, and you know we we guys are doing great with films these days too as well. On Eid, there were two films, I guess, which got released. I think one was Wrong Number Two, and the other was Chalawa. 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 Yeah. So uh, we hope that everybody out there is actually supporting our movies and whatnot as well. But I think that this song will definitely suit a film where, and I think it's going to be a breakup song as well. You know, at, right at the climax <laughs> of the film, where the hero hero is going the other way and the heroine is going the other way as well. I think that's the song where. Which needs to be there as well. It's a wonderful song, I must tell you as well. See, Since I do not know about the musical composition of it, so I cannot comment a lot. But I think for all of those people who actually uh, want to make good music for friends as well, I think he's your guy as well. But other than that, a very generic question before we wrap up the segment, and that is, do you think that you know within Pakistan now times have changed? There are a lot of concerts taking place. There are a lot of festivals taking place. Do you think that it has opened up more avenues for singers who actually are uh, literally a little fresh uh, mm -hmm. within the market as well? <coughs> Do you think that it's a good market now these days? Yeah, it's a good market, and uh, especially this uh, social media, YouTube, yeah. Facebook, and everything. It's uh, quite easier for people to access, and uh, uh, now it's the time for like you. You can say it's a so social media age. Yeah. So everyone is using the social media. Exactly. We're using Facebook, everything. And many, uh, very less people are now wa watching TV and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's I a good platform. I think cell phones are television. These yeah, days, yeah. <laughs> so cell phones are television, and uh, very few people are using the real, actual televisions, yeah. and uh, it's a good platform. Exactly. But uh, uh, apart from that, uh, the singer has to realize that uh, if he's spending some amount of money on his uh, song or recording or, or anything, yeah. is he going in the right direction, yeah. or is he just? Uh, Getting like uh, what is the right direction? The I think this is one question which yeah. needs to be asked, and I think that this is something which the singers or the musicians actually need to be clear within their own minds as well. So I mean, because you know your your, your World Cup song De Dana Dan Kafa Muthaenge is a wonderful song as well, and I think that this is the right direction to go. And I've seen a lot of singers who've actually who actually did a lot of Naat uh, within Ramadan too as well. So you know, there's every. You know, we all we have to do is we have to plan according to the situation which is going on. And you know, when God forbid, uh, if we go back in time, whenever there was a political turmoil, we could see a Brahula coming up with a song yeah. as well. <laughs> you know, so everybody made it up onto the situation. Shahzad Roy did did that too as yeah. well. But I think that that's a great message you gave. What about you, Daniel? Oh, sorry. Uh, what about you, Ali? Uh, I'm a Actually, I'm a singer and uh, I play guitar and uh, I'm songwriter also. Okay. Uh, I did my two songs uh, recently. Wow, that's and, great. Uh, when are you going to release them? Have you released them already? No. Uh, I don't what know. are you waiting for? Actually, I the right platform. Yeah. Right platform. This is the right platform. I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make Ali sing too as well. But thank you very much for joining us. It was wonderful to have you. Uh, we're going to make Ali sing and then we're going to head out towards a short break and when you guys will come back, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be joined by a psychologist. And the only thing which we're going to ask her is that a lot of people, you know, back in the day, you know, we used to send Eid greeting cards and whatnot or go in person and meet the other person. But these days I think that Eid is all about putting your pictures on social media. Is that correct? or not why are we doing this that this is something which we will ask right after the break ali it's your turn go ahead jaane ka jaldi raste lag kyun kar di kyun dil ne de Tere vas 
रास्ते कहा खो गए जुदा हो गए जाने चल दिए रास्ते अलग क्यों कर दिए क्यों दिल ने देखे खाब तेरे It was wonderful to have you. Best of luck for your future endeavors. And uh, yeah, a cup humutayenge, ladies and gentlemen, is actually a wonderful song to listen to if you want to get a little pumped up for the World Cup as well. We're going for a short period. Don't go anywhere because when you guys will come back, we'll be joined by a psychologist and we'll ask her whether Eid is all about posting pictures on social media or what. Good morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for everybody who just got tuned into PTV World. You watching World this morning along with Shazad Khan. Earlier, ladies and gentlemen, we were joined by some amazing people who actually made a song about the World Cup. The name of the song was "Day Dhana Dhan Kab Ham Uthayenge." Allah kare ke kab ham hi uthayen. But yeah, I mean, uh, Pakistan team, we wish you best of luck as well. But other than that, may the best team wins. But now, ladies and gentlemen, since E just took place as well, and uh, we could see everybody posting pictures on their social media, wishing everybody Eid and whatnot, and family pictures, and then what they were eating, what they were driving, where they were going. So all of those things were on social media. And then in between, there were a few people who actually took a toll on to those people and said that we haven't posted any pictures, but do you think that, it's go that our Eid is going to be fine? But well, this is something which is very different, and it got my attention. 
and I think that everybody these days is putting a lot of pictures and yes, I think that they are uh, to some extent looking for validation, it's serving the purpose too as well. But then uh, why are we doing it? I mean, what's, what's behind it? Why do we even want to share our images? I mean, it's good that we want to tell people that this is how good we look and you know, our family is with us and then we are celebrating and enjoying. But unfortunately for all those people who might not even get good pictures of themselves, <laughs> they might feel bad about it. So to talk about it, we have been joined with somebody who was actually, you know, who took out time even on Eid and was actually on our Eid transmission. If you've seen that, thank you very much for the wonderful feedback. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been joined by Ms. Sana Khan, who's a psychologist herself. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Yeah, Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much for joining us. You were here on E2 as well. Yeah. It was wonderful to have you. But then, you know, it's a very simple question. Why do we keep on posting so many pictures? And then why do you think that they were, uh, there was a group of people who took a toll onto these people and by saying that if we haven't put our pictures on Facebook or any social media platform, do you think that our ease is still going to be fine. Why are we doing this? Yeah, so I think to start with, I would say that social media is a wonderful platform, you know, yeah. uh, if used with caution and uh, care, you yeah. know. So um, basically what happens, uh, there's this need of hyper-connectedness uh, that, you know, everybody is going Every after. Every human is feeling that, that but, need of being mm, hyper-connected. Yeah, yeah, most of us, you know. Because, uh, all the time. <laughs> yeah, most of yeah. us are using Facebook, Insta. Uh, so what happens that, you know, uh, you're used to of the stimulation, you know, the certain kind of stimulation. You get likes, you get, um, you yeah. know, comments and all. I mean, so so we are looking for that kind of stimulation all the time. And I think social I, I, media is the right Yeah, thing. thank you very much for yeah. saying that. We are definitely looking for that. And I've seen people that, for example, if they've posted a picture for three hours, four hours, and if, if they haven't gotten, you know, a certain amount of likes, they'll delete that picture. Yeah, but I think that a lot of these things are actually causing anxiety and other mental health problems too as well. Can you pinpoint a, a, a little more of them as well? Yeah, so basically, in fact, there was this research also um, around in 2010 uh, from Leeds University that uh, depression and use of internet or social media, is, they are correlated. Okay. You know, so you, of course, can't really determine that um, whether it's social media that's causing the depression 100% or, or whether also. whether the people with depression are a little prone towards <laughs> the social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. Social that's media. that's a good dimension yeah. to it too as well. So then what do you say? Do you think that it is people being more prone and being depressed already or people using social media and getting depressed? Um, you know, if I you can see it both ways, but what happens basically if we see it uh, from a science perspective yeah. that um, when you get a lot of appreciation or validation or that kind of stimulation, yeah. what happens that it can change the way your brain operates, exactly. you know, it can change the brain chemistry. Wow. So to the extent that it will rewire the way your brain is. Really? Yeah. So, yeah, so, a lot so I think that, you know, then social, that means that social media can actually be helpful for people who have anxiety or depression. Yeah, so so I'll tell you, it's it's like a little Funny technical. Though, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you um, when you get all that, um, you know, a lot of validation, a lot of attention. Yeah. So what happens that of course uh, the chemical um, you must Release. have. I I don't yeah. know. Yeah, if you guys know the name, the dopamine yeah, is yeah, like yeah, dopamine, yeah, yeah, it's it's released constantly. So what happens that you know human body is also very tricky. So what the brain does when you get it all the time, so it tries to uh, restrict the dopamine okay. uh, yeah release and then, uh, and then when the you get yeah when you get a little of it you get depressed okay so that means that the only mean thing which is going to actually make you happy in your head is dopamine ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i think that this is this is how it needs to be yeah. so then okay what what do you think can be the early symptoms of somebody who is actually getting stressed by using social media do you think that we can actually observe a person by just looking at them that you know okay they are behaving differently there might be something wrong yeah so no so there's this thing that you know you have to um, use social media or any kind of gadget for two hours if you're using it more than two hours yeah. i think that um, <laughs> all of us are doing <laughs> so that is a little alarming yeah, yeah so last night i checked my screen time it was six hours <laughs> and 32 minutes that was quite a lot yeah. but it was easy you know there was a lot to catch up with but i think instagram has done a wonderful thing yeah 
So, you know, you keep on scrolling down and, you know, on Instagram is usually just pictures. So, after yeah. eventually, I think 15 or 20 minutes, you know, there's a message by Instagram which says you, yeah. you're all caught up, you know, yeah. that yeah. you've actually seen everything as well. But do you think that it is actually having an impact on behaviors as well? Or do you think that people's behavior are changing because of the fact that they have a different relationship with you on Facebook and otherwise, in reality, the relationship is different. Yeah. Do you think that it is going to have an impact on people or as a society? Yeah, so you know what happens that social media basically presents us with the, um, you know, with with things that are not realistic, you know. Yeah. Uh, the idea of happiness or, you know, the idea of fun is so exaggerated through mm -hmm. Insta and all this social media. Yeah. So you, you end up seeing everybody having fun, everybody going to vacation, and then when you, you see you're not making up to them, yeah. you feel depressed and you feel anxious. Exactly. And of course, there's this element of uh, envy also, yeah. when you see a lot of stuff is happening in somebody else's life and you yeah. see, oh, what am oh. I doing? I'm sitting here and doing yeah. nothing. So, so what is the right thing to do then? I mean, for somebody who's actually following all of those people, yeah, yeah. he's actually looking at somebody's profile, people who are actually going like twice a year for a vacation, yeah. people who are buying new cars, people buying new houses, new clothes, brands, whatnot. For somebody who's not doing all of that, how do you think that they can actually control their own emotions, feelings, and then be good by themselves as if uh, Facebook or social media platforms never existed? Yeah, so again, I would say that, of course, now when, you know, all these things are, um, you know, approachable and everybody has it through their uh, smartphones. Yeah. So you can't really um, get rid of them. But of course, you should uh, assign yourself some off-screen time and, you know, on-screen yeah. time, the way you do with your kids. <laughs> so, But then so. what do you do? You know, the only thing, uh, 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 you know, which, which I'm unable to figure out is, for example, you know, even on each day, so each shows were recorded too as well. So, so I had ample of time and I wasn't recording anything. So I was just working for my YouTube channel. So, you know, the, the thing is that, okay, if I'm not looking at my cell phone, what do I do then? Yeah. You know, that, that's one thing. Yeah. You know, this feeling, how do you kill this feeling? Yeah, so, we, so staying bored or getting bored is also very healthy, you know. Really? You, yeah, you should stay bored for some time and then think you know what else you can do oh, so other than of, using this okay so out of 24 hours how long do you think staying bored is healthy enough of course <laughs> an <laughs> hour 20 30 minutes <laughs> what, what what amount of time i think it differs from person to person okay. uh, yeah so it depends you know if you're working or if you're not or if you're, you have a big family or not so yeah uh, but uh, joe the kind of mentality we have now that you know we have to be busy all the time exactly so, but we are not actually busy uh, so, you know, the virtual life is... Um, Even yesterday, lot, yeah. I was sitting somewhere, ladies and gentlemen, so there was a family sitting right in front of me. It was a family of four to five people with two kids and I think their husband and wife. Mm -hmm. And all four of them were on their own gadgets. Yeah. So, you know, the kids were on their own gadgets, parents were on their own gadgets. And, you know, the only thing which I was wondering was, you know, the, how would they feel? I mean, imagine being together, you know, they have this feeling that, you know, my father's here, my yeah. mother's here kids are here, but eventually they're not even talking to themselves. Do you think that not talking to each other in the longer run can have an impact on your personality? Absolutely. So now I see kids or teenagers um, who are so good at making YouTube videos, yeah. uh, who are excellent at communication when it comes to the social media. Exactly. But they don't know how to greet otherwise. You know, exactly. when you see them in a real social situation, uh, they're very awkward. Yeah. They don't know even how to, you know, go to somebody and say hello or hi. Exactly. So you see the impact and, but once the camera is on of their social media <laughs> account, they are so good at it. So, Did so see, it's where it is going, you know. <coughs> I'm very sorry, but have you had any similar cases, you know, which you had to deal with? I mean, can you share an example with people or with parents that, you know, if it, if that's the case, how to actually sort it out, how to keep your nerves calm, you know, how to do it? Yeah, I think, again, the balance is very important. You have to teach your kids that, you know, you have to have balance in your life. Yeah. So anything that will, you know, overtake all the other things will definitely have a negative impact, no matter how positive it is. Okay. Yeah, and, so. for, and, for, and for everybody who's actually posting up all of those pictures and feeling fine and happy and whatnot, 
do you think that their personality is changing over time because of what Definitely. they are doing? Definitely. They are looking for validation all the time. And when you look for the validation all the time from external source, uh, what will happen? You know, you, you stop seeing your worth. Yeah. you know actually what you're worthy of if you, you are, if right. yeah all the time you look for likes and comments and all uh, how do you know who you really are and exactly. this is what is happening that people don't know who they really are yeah and i think that it's a rat race it's a competition it everybody wants their likes to be yeah. you know bigger in number larger in number two as well but then at the same time for people you know who are looking for validations and you're very right that people are doing it yeah. and uh, i i can see that there's a change in the in the relationship in between people other than Facebook as well. So now, uh, for example, if somebody's written or put up a status that, you know, this is how I feel. I think that there's another dimension to that. There's another side to that. People have started opening on Facebook, but they do not open in no. front of people. Yeah. You know, they will never share what problems they're going through, but they'll put it up on Facebook. Exactly. I need a, little, uh, a lot of support. Please remember me exactly. your prayers, but not in person. How do you think it's going to affect us yeah it is basically affecting us uh, again the way i said uh, kids can't communicate um, in reality yeah. but they're so good at social media so it, it's happening same for the adults as well that you know they can put up statuses but they can't uh, really you know communicate with the person yeah. uh, in reality um, and i see that uh, you know okay so this is here and we have to face it yeah. so what we can do is we can try to spread some awareness okay. like i try and sometimes put a status where i tell them when people think that you know oh maybe my life is like all happy and all going out yeah. and all so i try and put up the status that okay this is not just my life and social media is the place where we tend to put you know good stuff and good memories exactly uh, but it doesn't mean you know that uh, we have perfect lives exactly and, and i think that's great to do as well so which is why you know so what i'm going to ask you now is you have to be very honest about it what was the last status you put up <laughs> i mean let's let's talk about that what was the last status you put up the last yesterday day before uh, yeah um it was about uh, i think uh, it was about uh, this rape victim at oh. yeah yeah i think uh, some place in india exactly yeah. all right so you know i i think that you know on the name of uh, in the name of social awareness all of these things are very disturbing as well. I've seen people posting videos with blood in it and whatnot. And I think that it's going to have an impact. And I think that we're becoming more ruthless. We are becoming more prone to pain and agony. Yeah. And it needs to stop. So before we wrap up, what is your message which is going to be for all of those people out there? Please look into the camera. Yeah. Give her a strong message. Yeah, so um, I think today we already spoke about the cons of uh, social media so there's always a bright side to everything and i think there's a bright side to social media as well that um, it's very easy to access um, a lot of things for students and all you know it's yeah. a very good um, <laughs> exactly yeah go on yeah, go on yeah, it's, perfectly it's, all right. it's a very good medium but again if you use it with you know a little balance and uh, with caution that you know i'm not going crazy um, after social media that i'm you know, you have to check yourself yeah. that, you know, you're not checking your mobile all the time. Even if there's nothing, no message, mm. it becomes a habit of, uh, you know, checking your phone and checking your Insta or Facebook and social media. So mm, try to have a check on yourself. Yeah, uh, because, exactly. And I yeah. think that's a great message as well. Thank you very much, Sana, for joining us. Yeah, okay. Wonderful to have you. Same but for way. everybody out there, okay, one last question. Have you Googled your name? Have you ever Googled yourself? Uh, no, Have you never, not yet. Ever? I think I'm not that famous now. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a lot of people do as well, including me, myself, ladies and gentlemen. We just keep on checking up which news we are into as well. Uh, and it makes us feel great, you know, because the name pops up right on top of the list and you're like, okay, you know, people can actually <laughs> see me or people know me. It makes you feel wonderful. Yeah. But thank you very much for joining us. But Sana, ladies and gentlemen, said it very right. You know, you we have to strike a balance. May it be the social media may it be our life as well uh, it's always about striking a balance and living a healthy and a better life and this is what we aspire to do for you too as well by bringing in such people who can actually let you know the impacts of uh, usages of uh, social media or other than how to strike a balance too as well 
we definitely hope that you know it's not going to be so difficult to get back in routine after Eid. Please look after yourselves. Do write to us on our Facebook page, which is with the name of Wall This Morning. On Twitter, it's Wall This Morning without a G. On Daily Motion and YouTube, it's Wall This Morning. This fabulous repeat is going to be at 5 past 11 p.m. tonight. Till the next time, 1 to 3. Good morning.